Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This week I'll be showing you my 1.9 mob farm, which does endermen, spiders, the whole lot. So here it is. I've been working on it for oh, nearly two weeks now. I did do an update video, I don't know, a week ago with um, it about 20% done. So let's get this tour started, shall we? So I built the, uh, the collection area underwater this time instead of uh, up top here and I built the mob farm in the middle of a uh, ocean slash lake for people that don't know it's best to do this because at night time the mobs will spawn around the mob trap not in the mob trap but we want them spawning in the mob trap so let's go down so down the bottom here we have a collection area um, it's pretty basic We've got um, yeah, just chests over there, the furnaces and everything over there. I did put um, I did put glowstone on the floor because it was pretty dark in here and it was filled up with torches. Torches were everywhere, so I just decided to use glowstone on the floor. I know it doesn't look that nice, but it just it does the job fantastically. This is the uh, part where they die. So here we have a double piston extender where the red blocks are and they fall to their death here the loot goes in here and then the double piston extender extends twice pushes the loot into the canal system to so you can collect it also we have two buttons here so you've got three buttons all together I should say that's for a furnace uh, well disintegrator style so you, if you don't want the loot anymore and uh, here we got the an override button. See, double piston extender. Or if you flick this down and then press the button, this will go off automatically every 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds. I, I'm not exact sure, but around that number. So you can AFK farm or whatever you wanted to do. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you the best I can around. I may need to pause the video, go back into creative mode where I have a creative map and I built a prototype which is a lot smaller than this but I'll be able to explain it a lot better. But uh, what we'll do first is go right up the top and get a good view and I'll try to explain it the best I can. So we got two shoots on each side, so we got four shoots all together. These shoots mainly do normal mobs um, and spiders, which I did want. There is a lot of designs on the internet that do Enderman um, for the pearls, but also we do want one that does spiders as well. We want one that does nearly all the mobs. So, you know, that's why I built this, which does do it all. So, we're we're pretty high up. We're, we're only a couple away from hitting the ceiling. Um, the... So what I'll do now is, yeah, I'll pause the video and I'll take you to my creative map and where I built a smaller prototype version of this before coming into survival and building this big one. So I'll pause it now and we'll go over. Okay, so I'm back and we are in creative mode currently in my test world. I currently build most of my farms here before going on survival and building my farm there. So this is it. This is the first prototype I built. It is smaller than the one I built in uh, Survival. So well, now I can actually explain how this works. So what we got here, we got the old fashioned spawners here, which do normal mobs. They don't do endermen, they don't do anything like that. They do spiders, creepers, whatever. They normally spawn in there because we want spiders as well. So there's four of them on each corner and there's shoots going down on the sides of the mob farm four of them and in the middle we have a piston powered farm so these are the mainly for the endermen and we have spawning pads everywhere and we put uh, half slabs in here so to prevent spiders from spawning so what actually happens is an enderman will spawn I think it will walk off the edge like this and it'll be pushed all the way down the bottom this is pretty effective and so and also another good reason why that 
the piston top and bottom fire at the same time is to prevent lots of forward damage because in the beginning actually I had uh, uh, pistons and then a space as the spawning pads all the way up in the first ever first prototype which time they got to the bottom they take in heaps of fall damage for some strange reason and have to make it all smaller so I just did that so they fall and they don't fall that far and it still pushes them down and then at the bottom we've got a like a slot I would say and then they fall down to the main collection area now I did build the other one mostly out of wall this one's mainly out of cobblestone so and as I said it, it's a lot smaller than the other one the other one's a bit bigger um, so the spiders just say a spider would fall down here you would on the normal one you would have about here you would have water source here with signs here so when a mob would fall through it it wouldn't die hitting here which also has water here and most of, since the fall is so great they will die actually as they hit the ground unless you have another like a stop here so they will fall into this water source which pushes them down a canal pushes them here pushes them down the main chute and we've got one on each side like that so as I said all four is connected so they all connect down to one main chute like this so that is how the farm works um, and yeah so I'll switch over back to my survival world and we will go give it a test run shall we okay so we're, we're back in uh, survival mode now back on the the big mob farm I will go back down the bottom now and we'll get this started and we'll see how she performs so I'll pause the video for a sec okay so on the way down these are the the water parts I was talking about in creative mode you've got to put signs and water here because as I was saying the if when the mobs come down neither though there's a water water on the bottom canal system to push them down they still actually die on the bottom so you must have the water source here to slow them down we don't want them dying before hitting the bottom we want them to survive same with the enderman in the middle the pistons have like a stair effect so they don't you know four three blocks four three blocks four three blocks and take damage because i in, in testing stage i had problems with things dying before they even hit the bottom so and we don't want that happening because of the lava down there because if, if any loot falls down, and it will just get disintegrated in the lava on the bottom. Now, reason why the lava is there is because the Endermen actually survive the last four damage. So, they will survive and they will be in this little room here. But they will be on fire thanks to the lava. Now, the fire does kill them. Nothing survives. They, they, they die and the double piston extender comes out and pushes the, pushes the loot in. So, what I'll do now is take you back to some dodgy redstone wiring. So, here we've got the delay system. This is like a 20, 30 second delay system. I've uh, forgotten. Um, but we've got a kill switch here, which kills it all if you need to log off or whatever. And this wiring here is for the double piston extenders. So, behind here we got two sticky pistons. They're two sticky pin pistons and up at the front we've got the red wool. So, the yeah, if, you, if, if people don't know how to make that, I'm, I can do a tutorial on the double piston extender. But up here we've got some more um, repeaters and such. And we also we've got a tick system for the uh, double piston extenders which you sometimes need for a lot of pistons. So, anyway, let's get this started up because it does take a little while to warm up. So, we'll stick it on easy. Now, when I first started the farm, well, this bottom part, once this was filled in, most of this was sand, so it was a pretty easy job getting it in here. So, another thing I did straight away is I had to dig down, and I digged in each direction, try to dig in each direction, trying to find caves. Now, I can't get all the caves, so we're missing some spawns thanks to caves. So, I stress about that because a lot of people are going I'm not getting spawns in my trap data that's because probably the caves or the spawning somewhere else except your mob farm now we want I was trying to get most of them most of them to spawn in my mob farm which oh, I, I'd say there is a few caves left that I haven't found but it's decent speed as you can see 
it's not bad. It's getting a few mobs. But uh, we can increase that by trying to find all the caves you possibly can. Which I will do in the future and I'll do another update video because I want to tweak this a bit more. Add some more spawning pads and such in the main trap which I will do later. But for now this is pretty much done part of the project. So there is no endermans have fall fallen yet. I wanted to show you but I guess that doesn't matter. So oh, there's, see fair whack of them. Yep. See it's getting decently fast now. So we hit this button. All the loot gets pushed down. And yeah, that's it. So uh, as of uh, 1.9, as of 1.9, Enderman um, do not, will teleport out of water. Will teleport out of water. Here, we got an Enderman now. There he is. He's burning to death. See? Don't have to do anything. And there's an Ender Pearl. So as I was saying, as, oh, we got two of them now getting faster and faster so as I was saying um, endermen are also don't move as many blocks now uh, notch nerfed it I'm pretty sure I'm unsure what blocks he can and can't move but I'm pretty sure he can only move um, like dirt and flowers and TNT and cacti stuff like that now they actually do not move solid blocks I'm pretty sure you can correct me if I'm wrong but yeah so that's all done that's excellent or else we would be having a lot of problems with the um with uh, obviously the the enderman destroying my trap but that's not the case i've already left this on for an hour and a bit and i've gotten tons so we've already got two ender pearls which is excellent we're also getting string from the spiders um we're getting some loot coming out so what i'll do is put on auto for now now you press the button so as I said, it comes out and you just AFK there. And that's pretty much how this farm works. Uh, it does look pretty decently night, uh, nice. And at night time, it it stands out. Trust me. If you when you when I'm catching a cut from my main base over here, wow, this thing stands out. So, but yeah, I'm not sure how many items per hour it gets. But I'm pretty sure I'd get a decent amount. As I said, caves are a big issue. I did fill in a few. I found some big ones actually near this point. But I'm guaranteed there's a few that I haven't got yet. So I've got to figure out some sort of way to find those damn caves. But the the double piston extender should be going off every 20 seconds or so. So pushing the loot in. Now I've got glass panels in here, not actually glass blocks or else the loot wouldn't fit down the back here. See, there's a gap there, so loot can get pushed in like that. But that's how it works. Alright guys, so I'll quickly uh, turn off the pulse delay system and open the hatch for now. We'll let, uh, we'll let some mobs build up, we'll let some items build up in there for a while, and we'll go take one last look at the mob farm before I uh, say my goodbyes. But it took uh, oh, a lot of resource to, resources to, to build, but... At the end, it does look pretty nice. Well, it looks really nice on my screen. Um, I was going to go with red, but then I thought, nah, blue. So, I went with blue wool, and it's easy to get blue wool. But, yeah, it turned out really, really good. And it was two weeks worth it. So, the mob farm is done now. And, as I said, I'm going to make a few tweaks later. Look for more caves, cave systems and such. I definitely need some... Uh, to get rid of all the caves that po possible to, to increase the rate of spawn inside my trap but so yeah we'll go down we'll hit this button and um we'll, we'll leave it at that so anyway guys if you like my videos please uh check out my older videos um subscribe like comment i do read the comments so um you know I do reply to some of the comments, so if, if you like to leave a comment, I will read it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching uh, this farm. This is my new mob farm. And I will get started on something new in a few days anyway. I'm going to take the next few days off. I've been putting a lot of hours into this farm, and she's done, so... 
I'm definitely taking a small break before doing something. Suggestions on next thing. I might go back to tweaking my, um, working on my animal farm, animal breeding farm. But I, I kind of need some wheat. I've run out of wheat. i got this little baby wheat farm. So I may do this gigantic wheat farm next to, f for the mob farm that I will eventually build. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. As I said, see, please subscribe and like and comment. And um, I'll, I'll see you all later.